Yes, the Magic Chef is back again with the famous fermented hearing porch. Today with special guest. One of them actually told me like this. Uh, is it? Is it? I love lemon. Is it lemony? Is is it lemon in this thing? I said no, 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 no. But if you want lemon, I can just produce a lemon. You know? No, 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 no. So no lemon. And my second guest uh, that has not been here before, he, he told me, you know. I love eggs. Is it eggs? No, but I, I can I can I can produce a lot of eggs if you want to. Uh, what I'm gonna have for you here tonight is something totally different, totally. And I have guests from Tobago, from Cuba, from America, from Italy, from India, from Persia. But today we have two new countries. <laughs> and 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 oh, by the way, uh, sometimes to this, I had a French person, and he said. And so he, he wanted cheese. Well, to this dish, you can have tomatoes, you can have cheese, you can have whatever. You can actually drink it with champagne. But think about it, everything tastes good with some champagne. <coughs> I will say, <coughs> yeah, you can take cheese. This is a nice French one. But you know, <coughs> actually, <laughs> I prefer candy. So, so, so. So, let me introduce now for the guests. I will be back. Hello. So finally, uh, late guests, we always need a blonde in Swedish movies, so Helena, <laughs> we, we have Johan, he's always here, you know. When, when I open one of those cans, you know, like, oh, Johan is in yeah. the bush here. Nowadays, <laughs> yes. it's safe now. We have a man, eh, half Cuban, half Swede, yeah. and look at that smile. Mm -hmm. He has one mission here tonight, is at that lower, the middle age of, of the group, and we have this gentleman, that are known since 1984. Can you believe and it? 38 yes, years. and if you as you look at him, you know he is much much younger than me. Two months. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. and, and believe it or not, but he is a virgin. When it comes to fermented <laughs> here. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And we have Jamal Udin, that uh, so many people praises his uh, his cooking. You know, uh, he has uh, brilliant. Indian food, and let's come to sushi. I mean, this guy over here, 180 countries, uh, top restaurants around the world, and you just had to do a review of Jamal's sushi. Okay. Jamal, yes. you're from Bangladesh. Yeah. Yes, that's the premiere for me here now. And I tell you that this is fish. Yes. But it's not sushi. Yes, I know. No, that. No, 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 no. So let's do this. Uh, the correct way. Let's start. So I took a white plate here so you can easily see when I'm cleaning this. Oh, I got raw. Some people here, you know, a lot of loves raw. So if you do like this and it's no raw, you're like, oops, and you do this, oops. But it was just raw everywhere. Actually, I take two, I think. Like this. And I can help because this will be my help for you and Yamal. You start by taking that away, that away, and that away. <laughs> like this. So you start with those, like that. Then you take away this uh, yummy, yummy for your little tummy. You know, you have the, the Russian caviar. Then you have the roe from fermented herring. <laughs> <laughs> so this is fermented I, 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 I don't look at Jamal just now, but he, I think he looks like... <laughs> so you take that away. Let's see now, so... And so I'm doing three here quickly. Like that. Take that away. Like this. And the th cleaning bowl that later. Now, so here is my little hint. If I take that one. Yes. This will be filled. Adieu. So, you put the fork just below the skin. And sometimes this goes very easy and you move the fork. Sometimes it's easy. Sometimes, depending uh, what year and what brand and what fermented hearing it is. But you do a bit like this. Today it was a little bit tougher. But when you are in the back here, in the end, you just turn it over, 
put it underneath, move your fork, and you do this. So this goes away. And then you just take this, because this is the, the nice stuff. Luckily enough, it's no bone here that can be dangerous. So that's a quick way. So meanwhile, the guest has been doing this before. You can start. But I will prepare two fermented hamburgers for my guest, Wolfgang Riebe from uh, Cape Town and Yamali from... Uh, What's the place? It's not Dakka, no? No. <clears throat> what's, it, what's the... Chiragong. Oh, exactly. Chiragong. I've almost been there. <laughs> <laughs> so pull this off. Yes. And you wait. If you practice a little bit, you will do this as quick as me too. That goes away. Bam. So, in Sweden, we're lucky to have uh, polarbröd. It's kind of a white, semi hard uh, cracker that really tastes well. A lot of people in Sweden, they eat just potato, onion, and this. Some add tomato and some strong cheese. Uh, but, but I think most of them only onion and... Uh, and uh, some, but I like to do this hamburger. So far, no one of my guests said that this was terrible. No one says it smells great, but it doesn't taste as it smells. So, boom, so here we have, this is the base. And I will try to control myself for not eating this. Wait a minute. Oof. So, I will now take the potato because a lot of people, even in Sweden, make they take the potato first because that's the only warm thing, and that's the thing that's gonna melt the butter a little bit and make my guest smile. So I'll be back soon. So it looks like this. I had one of my viewers uh, that wrote like, "Oh, you're hiding the taste with the onion." Well. I don't think he eaten hamburger with just the meat and nothing more. It's what makes it, what goes together. So first we have some really nice butter here, going like this. And uh, I actually make, make it like this. And I think actually because behind my camera is Wolfgang. TV star from South Africa and he's been producing all kind of, of shows uh, so he's used to handle it so what I do here is perhaps what people say is kids are doing <laughs> but I'm a big kid <laughs> so and we blend this together like this and you add yellow or red onion I go for that a little bit more about that so and it's so fun to have Jamal here a gourmet chef as he is and and to see what he thinks When I do this, and both of them take a close look when you take a big bite here. Mm. Try to get it all. The herring, the potato, the onion. Does it taste as it smell? No. Salty. Yeah, salty. Yeah, salty. Yeah, salty. It's good. 
It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Are you a little bit surprised? Yeah. Yes. Am I, many are. So soon we're going to turn the camera around and uh, we will have, have one virgin less around this table. <laughs> Virgin, soon to be non-virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Big bite. Okay. Agreed. Doesn't taste the way it smells. Yeah. It's like really good. It's really tasty. If you like a, a raw herring or a fish, a match is very similar. Um, re not bad, Luva. No, I know. <laughs> so for many, uh, they are like horrified if, before the first bite. But I'm saying I'm impressed of Wolfgang and I'm impressed of Jamal. Uh, Jamal went for the sandwich like uh, a tiger Whoa! to pay, do the pain. How do you say? <laughs> Take away the pain quickly. A bingo tiger. But I, <laughs> I like your way because I saw your eyes. Like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. Uh, actually, wait, wait. <laughs> no, so just lean back now. And uh, Mane. Yeah. Yes. Everything okay? Everything is all right over here. Okay. Helena. Prepare yes. your fish. Yes. <laughs> because, you know, you see, we, can, we have some beer here. We have, uh, we have some other things here, too. But you can actually, honestly, drink milk to uh, fermented herring. And uh, people think I'm joking when I'm actually saying that, that, that I'm I genuine champagne to this. Uh, but it really taste tastes amazing. yummy, yummy. Champagne. But uh, uh, actually, <laughs> everything <laughs> works with champagne. So this was uh, me and my guest wave to the world that you need uh, some uh, best coast snaps over and out from Alnö utanför Sundsvall och Lode bye